Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, we're about to look at the pages of a national dailies. We call it Off the Press. Hopefully we have our guest join us, Okpunabo Nkataria. But however, it's also uh, important to let you know that Kofi is right here with us this morning on the show. Kofi, it's good to have you join us. Yeah, Messi is also good to have you join us as well. <laughs> um, you're looking quite bright. And of course, um, it's a brand new week. We're uh, looking forward to all the activities lined up in the week. I mean, we have some rallies, uh, um, shadow political rallies in Lagos. So we're counting down to the general elections. You know, um, it's excitement all the way. Uh, Nigeria is a country of resilient people. And you can see it on the roads. That's by the fuel scarcity, narrow scarcity, and the Nova. Everybody's out, you know, running as if we're being chased. So it's great. We're counting down. Uh, it's time to pray and hope for the best. Talks of, you know, um, international government and all that. Well, elections hold and all that sometimes seem premature or necessary, but these are the issues. Um, so let's see what the papers have to say for us this morning and we'll get up to speed with that. Well, we start off with a punch. Six days to elections. Uh, that's what the punch is quoted to say. APC. Governors, bank CEOs, and last minute rush declare narrow mess. And underneath 12 governors, APC chair, Wante Mefili, Malami to obey Supreme Court order. Narrow crisis has brought too much pain. Adamu laments. Gandu J. Uh, Abiodun absent in all of this. Uh, you also have bank CEOs want old narrow notes collection extended to avert protests and attacks on branches. <laughs> well, we think that, I mean, you don't even have to think about it. You know, two wrongs can never make a right. That's, that's the saying, and we need to remember that. Buhari, Jonathan, orders became president unprepared. Matthew Coker, I hope I'm correct. Uh, that's what I find there. It's necessary, Matthew, but you have a coal car uh, quoted on that. Uh, stock investors lose 281 billion in one week. I need to get poll allocation from CBN on Tuesday. Fuel queues may return as NNPCL depots run low. Uh, so far, uh, if you notice, not necessarily that uh, you don't have the queues, but they have reduced to a barest minimum. And we, we just have reports saying that the NNPC depots are running low. What happened to the 1.3 billion liters of petrol that we claim to have had? And uh, CBN laments, yes, Shaibu's continued captivity. I beg your pardon. Khan laments, yes, Shaibu's continued captivity. Ogun women set self ablaze over 70,000 are death. Well, that's, that's really unfortunate. But that's it this morning on The Punch. Let's go over to the next newspaper, of course, um, in our... Uh on our table, the Guardian newspaper, Tinubu APC governors beg Buhari Malami to respect Supreme Court. <laughs> Tinubu APC governors beg Buhari Malami to respect Supreme Court. The writers to that one uh, from Addis Ababa, Buhari calls for patience over Naira hardship from Addis Ababa. Uh, banks not ready for 200 naira payment as cash squeeze enters fourth week. You know, we asked about that if it'll, it'll be, there'll be any difference. Um, Adi, don't reverse policy, expand cashless outlets. Aerofi instructs Kaduna MDAs to accept old notes. Uh, merchants mop up old 500, 1,000 naira notes, increase minting of 100 naira. Other lower denominations. Security expert urges CBN. We have so many experts in this thing nowadays. More from The Guardian. NIPC moves to improve national branding, FDI. That's Foreign Direct Investment. I'm sure that's talking about the Nigerian Investment Promotion Center. Nigeria lost $825 billion to graft in 23 years. Uh, CEO on wonders where the money went. Where did that money go? $825 billion. That's a lot of money. Shoinka distances itself from fake quotes on social media. You know, it happens to not just Shoinka, it happens even to Robert Mugabe, even though he is gone. Uh, people still, you know, give some things and, you know, put some things out and say, yeah, according to, to, to Mugabe. Uh, again, Kaduna asks agencies to accept old notes as lawmaker seeks Aerofi's arrest. 
interesting times. Atiku Tinubu Obi in last push to sway voters. 80% of PHC's non-functional SFG reneges on total rehabilitation plan. And that's talking about primary health care centers. That's very important. 80%. Mercy. Non-functional. What a disgrace. Really, really bad. Unacceptable, you would say. Those are some of the headlines on the front page of The Guardian. Well, we turn our attention to the Daily Independent newspaper... Uh, boldly written, be patient. I know there's hardship. Buhari begs Nigerians, ask parents to warn words against trouble on election day. And that's what you find there. Another one says, Naira swap policy, obey Supreme Court order, APC National Working Committee, and governors urge uh, Malami and MF Yeli. 2023 elections don't disappoint Nigerians. The uh, Nigerian Guild of Editors are uh, quoted to say they urge uh, INEC and security agencies. That's what you find. Ask journalists to be professional in coverage. Uh, we're right here and ready for it. Please kill six gunmen who attempted to burn station. Okay. Erufi asks MDAs to accept payment in old new narrow notes uh, i mean th th this sounds very polite you know because uh, if you listen to governor erify when he was giving his state, it really didn't sound like he was like hey please accept it or don't accept it it feels like there's another government and another control you know in kaduna state but well that's what you find uh tr training of 381 avsec cadet to fight terrorism and again you find narrow design Serap sues Buhari over banned on 500 and 1,000 naira notes. Uh, Serap has been suing, and Serap will continue to sue. South Africa begins issuance of 10 years visa to Nigerians, investors, aviation practitioners. 40% crude oil losses due to measurement and uh, inaccuracies or not thefts. Oh, wow. That's very interesting to note. 2023 election, policing, uh, PSC appoints coordinator and threatens sanction against erring uh, policemen. We deemed raid Tunubu's house, EFCC is quoted. I mean, yesterday there was this, you know, news that was making the rounds as to the EFCC raiding the house of the uh, presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress. But also there was a, uh, it was on their verified Twitter handle that, hey, we did not raid the house of Tunubu. That's it this morning on the Daily Independent. Right, and uh, we must not forget to point out the, the front page picture. <laughs> on, on Daily Independent, um, you have um, the River State Governor. I can spot some faces there, Mercy. Uh, the, the one in Etibo, like La Lemon Etibo, that's what he called it, Alfred, is uh, Commissioner for Information uh, in River State, Chris Feinborn, and he was uh, in Lagos over the weekend to represent Yes on Wiki. He was uh, given an award by Daily Independent at the Independent Awards 2022 Award of Man of the Year. You know, uh, quite interesting there. <laughs> um, and congratulations to Governor Yes on Wiki of River State. Um, let's go to the final newspaper. Daily Trust uh, is what we have on our table this morning. The leading story there. Insecurity, credibility, fears may affect voter turnout. I mean, we're talking about, for instance, the, uh, the violence in the southeast with some police stations set on fire. How will that affect turnout? It says insecurity, credibility, fears may affect voter turnout. Candidates I Northwest, 22 million votes. Why previous elections recorded low turnouts, experts and security others determine turnout CDD. Uh, more from Daily, uh, Daily Trust, Kwan Kwaso to APC governors, your loot now completely useless. Cash crisis, Buhari urges patience, reaffirms support for Tinubu. We put out a tweet yesterday. Uh, Daily Trust and the tweet um, is quite interesting. You want to analyze that tweet. You can analyze it a hundred, hundred ways. Uh, Daily Trust's economists, credible elections will boost confidence in the economy. Uh, race to Asso Rock, Atiku, six-time 
lucky or last rodeo. Very interesting. I'm told we have a guest ready to um, uh, do justice to this headline. So quickly, say a very good morning and welcome to Opunabo and Kotaria. Uh, Opunabo, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time. All right, it seems that uh, uh, Opunabo and Kotaria is not ready or we have some challenges. Uh, but we, we, we'll, we'll try to get back to him. We'll just take a few more of those headlines from the front page of uh, Daily Trust before we we try again to connect with Opunabo. Hopefully we get some communication as to what the situation is. Uh, uh, Naira Swap APC backs governors uh, asked Buhari to obey Supreme Court. All right, that's on the bottom right, you know, corner of or bottom left, whichever way you want to look at it, of the Daily Trust. <laughs> Naira Swap APC backs governors asked Buhari to obey Supreme Court. So it's the president now working against his party. Elections, Naja Artu, remember Naja Artu? The lady who was um, a member of the PCC, uh, that's the terrible campaign, and people told her that she didn't want to join, but uh, she had to fly to London. You know, Bola Metin will pay for her, offered to pay her her flight. She said no, she'll, she'll pay for herself and went to find out why he wanted her to join uh, his campaign, only for her to join, and then later say, you know what, you're not the right person for Nigeria, I'm resigning. But hey, she resigned to go join someone who is older than Bola Metin, who the president of Atiku. Well, Naja Atu, should she be listened to? Um, or not? Um, elections, Naja Atu, 44 others to monitor police officers' conduct. So that's a good one. Uh, we need people to do all they can to ensure we have free and fair elections. The one that really catches my attention on the front page of Daily Trust is uh, the piece on Atiku. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 uh, you have details on page 14 and 18, and Rupa has done quite well to. Give us something interesting to, to read. Uh, a race to Asorok, Atiku, Sith time lucky or last rodeo? You know, we, all, oh. all, we always say third time lucky. Do we have Opuna Boy and Kotaria? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Kotaria, can you hear us, please? All right, uh, I mean, we've been told that we have uh, some kind of issues. Opuna Boy, can you hear me? Good morning you know, connect with us. But Kofi, just as some of the points that you have raised this morning, it's a power week, so uh, a lot's going to happen. Well, I was asking if uh, yes, Wiki has... Uh, no, placed, I mean, I know that that's... Placed, uh, um, uh, an executive order on, on Opunabo's network. No, that's not the case. We, we, we know that that's... Well, maybe maybe Opunabo's network is excited because his governor has just won an award. You know, so, so the thing is, I, I think that uh, it, it's a power week and a lot's going to happen. You know when it's a power week, so everything is jam-packed. We're trying to do everything at the same time. Uh, there's countdown to the elections. There's everything. But to, I mean, talking about some of the points that you have raised, Kofi, uh, you, talked, you talked about, uh, you know, those who are saying, oh, we're moving from one camp to the other. We've also seen that uh, even as we inch closer to the elections, you still have a lot of persons decamping from one party to another. And it's very despicable. Just few days to an election, just you know, a month to election, two weeks to an election, and then people are still moving on. It, it just shows you that for most of the persons who are vying for political offices, it's not necessarily that they're there for the interest of the people, but you know, it's for their interest. And therefore, every time you don't have their interest represented, they would always steer towards where the interest lies, and so that's what it is. And that's what that's the politics we talk about, and so most times. You, when you want to, if we actually had a tester, just like you can test your diamond, whether you're wearing an original diamond yeah, I mean, or gold, then if we had a tester as to testing, you know, the intentions of our political elite, you can really tell that you would see the motive behind it. But I mean, we don't have superpowers, so we can't really ascertain. Well, but to say that most times, everyone would always act to their interests. I mean, they're acting for their interests up until when their interest is not upheld. And that's when you begin to see all of the disagreements. So you begin to hear the things that you're not supposed to hear. Oh, man, oh man that's what's happening. Or oh, really, was it really for the interest of the people? Have, have been around any of them to hear some things you meant to hear? Coffee, coffee, you know, you, you know what's yeah. going on. I mean, you, you cited one of it. Uh, do we have a Kunabo and Kataria back on? All right, then we've been told that we have to take a break quickly. Uh, that's because of uh, some technical issues. We sincerely apologize. Uh, we'll be right back. Please stay with us. Good morning.